<laughs> so, yes. oh, turns no. out, y'all, that the Department of Defense has installed these research programs literally across the country. And you'll notice a couple of those are K through 12. K through 12 public school districts, one of those. That's how far it goes. Wow. What I also discovered in my search of this is there are these conglomerates, right? Like these groupings of schools. And so if you go to that, sand, like the Sandai, which, which is working with the Department of Energy. The reason there's a link there. Wait, where, wait, 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 wait. Down at the bottom. So it's the Department of Energy, San, Sandia National Laboratories. And where it should be a college, it's a link. There's a reason for that. It was too many schools. And I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to mess up my, <laughs> I didn't want to mess up my spreadsheet. Look at, there you go. See in the middle? See in the middle how it starts with Alabama? Just start clicking mm -hmm. over. Just start clicking oh. over. Start clicking over. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Wow. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Still going. Wow. Still going. University Still going. Of Maryland. Mm -hmm. Still going. Dang. Cornell, Still going. People, Cornell. Damn. Right. So, the, you know, like, this is all, like, so when you see this, right, when you look initially at the list, so when I first opened it up. Liverpool, Manchester. Right. Right. De Pisa. So when I first did the initial search, to see what these university research things were. It tells you we have 17 programs, which when you hear the word 17 programs, it doesn't sound like that much, right? The problem is that, that those 17 programs, those are like the baseline of it. They don't talk about how far out these things reach. And I picked Sandia for you to pull up on purpose because that is, that's the, the biggest, that was the biggest list of schools by far that I came across. But even the program with Howard, Howard is the guiding body for a group of schools. So they announced Howard and they said, oh, you know, the, the Navy is going to be working with Howard and it's a research program and da, 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 da. But they didn't mention all the other schools that Howard was going to be pulling in behind it to work with these same programs. And it's not a short, we're not talking about two or three schools. I think it's like 10 to 12 schools. It's a long list. Yeah. And Wait, didn't you have a link for that in here? It's in what there. It's on the spreadsheet. At? Yeah, because I was, uh, if you because go I noted at, that they if, do not have. Right. So if you go to where it says Howard University and click on it, it'll take you to the page that lists all the schools that are part of the program that's being headed up by Howard. Yeah. Um. It's a, it's a, it's a group of HBCUs that they're, mm -hmm. that they're in charge of. Um, hold on a second. I'll get there. But no worries. The real point of the story is Morgan's not on it, and I was I was mad. Like, how? Why is Morgan being left out? Because <laughs> I know they're in competition for who's going to be who's going to be the first HBCU to get Research One status. That's what is driving at least some of their interest in 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 doing this. And they and I think that they both know that they cannot um there it is that they that they cannot get there through traditional uh quote unquote traditional academic ways so all of it is is 
through what's being described here in this new research center uh, collaboration uh, right. through STEM programs. Right. So it's the Defense Department leaders announced today the creation of a 15, uni- 15th university affiliated research center associated with Howard University in Washington, D.C., sponsored mm-hmm. by the U.S. Air Force on tactical autonomy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and then some. it's, it's all about STEM. Mm-hmm. Um, 30%, da, 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 STEM, STEM. And then there's a, the list was in here somewhere. Yeah, there's, I there's think it's, Lloyd. there it is. Yeah. Lead the consortium. So we have Howard University, Jackson State, Mississippi, well, Mississippi, well, Tus- with Jackson State, Tuskegee, Hampton, Virginia, um, Hampton, of course, in Virginia, Bowie State, Norfolk State, Virginia. I keep reading the states, Delaware <laughs> State, Florida Memorial, and Tougaloo. Uh, so Bowie, shout out to our, our, our sister uh, HBCU here in Maryland at Bowie, but they left Morgan out, and I believe it's because they're in this race. Right, they're in competition but, to get the most money to kill other black people that they can get. No, no, Renee, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not have you know we, it is to become the first research HBCU research one institution. You will not stop it. No, we don't do that. We don't do that here. <laughs> but it's, oh, I mean, it's wild. And, um, you know, just, it, as I was doing, yes, no, this... right, Yipper. It's to lift black people, Renee. Yes, yeah. Listen mm-hmm. to Yipper. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just can't. I can't wrap my head around how many schools are involved in this. And as I like, if you look at the spreadsheet, these things have been going for decades. These are not new programs. Right. There's a chunk of them. Like if you if you do the and this is, you know, my own. As I fall down these damn holes, trying to trying to find information. How many of them are linked to the Manhattan Project? That's what oh, kicked wow. it off. <laughs> the Manhattan Project. <laughs> right. I mean, so nuclear war. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. 1942. I mean, it's just and the SUNY system, the University of California system, the Florida system, all the IVs. I mean, it is, it's just, it was a lot. And some of them, it's cleverly, because not all of these are like the official UARC programs, right? They're not the official 17 that they talk about. Um, some of these are DOD research programs that are run through the college and university, right? So it's not listed as an official like university research center, but it is a university-based research center working for the DOD, (laughs) like literally working for the DOD and the Department of Energy, which is not technically, I guess, the defense <laughs> department of defense. But if you look at the Department of Energy, what I discovered yesterday is it's the number one employer of military people. Mm. Right? So they're all... Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was Forbes. Forbes listed the Department of Energy as the number one employer for military people. Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, they got a lot of stuff here. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I just, I fell down such a rabbit hole because I could not believe how how far reaching this was. And it's all hidden as part of the university. But what they're really doing is researching biochemicals and bioweapons and nuclear war and, again, how to kill people. Because, you know, 
that's what our and then at least once at, at least one small part of it and i'd like to to do more of my own looking into some of this at least a small part of it is in the the mm -hmm. messaging information intelligence analysis communications communications yep. and this is the program strategy. that works very closely with the alexandria city public schools which oh, wow. I found to be extremely distressing that they were deep into the public school system in Alexandria City doing science fairs and giving grants and, you know, all of these things. And, you know, I worked in Fairfax County for almost 10 years. I used to live in, um, when I was living in PG County, I worked in in Fairfax City. And that whole Northern Virginia area is wild, right? You have all of the people who live and work in DC, but are commuters. So they're With all money. part of the government, right? Fairfax either, County, when I right. was working there was like the third richest county in the country. I don't know if it's still that high up. It's, um, it's, um, it's would have to be and, right. and Montgomery County on the other side uh, uh, in Maryland, uh, particularly with the the um, I can't even remember the, the name of the area, but the there's a lot of money over there. The people the, the people with money that have to work in D.C. live in that area, and then right. from the Pentagon to down the road to Quantico. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. And those programs, those are just the ones that like, I didn't even leave on there the ones that weren't attached to the schools. <laughs> that list is only the research programs that are attached right. to some school or university in some way, shape or form. And for some of them, they hide it in internships, right? Like you can do an internship or you can, you can, do this study program, but your classes are actually at the UCLA campus, even though UCLA, if you look, is not listed as a research program. The MITRE group, the MITRE corporation, that's M-I-T-R-E, has, they have, I don't even remember the number, it's in the dozens of offices all over the country. And Again, this is why my rap, this is why I was like, I'm gonna need a ladder and a flashlight. Because what I ended up doing, because I was so convinced that MITRE was not just offices. So I had to go to each city and figure out, is this actually related to a college? So of course, come to find out that their, camp, their, their office is actually at the University of Vermont. <laughs> right, <laughs> like it's literally like the address is the University of Vermont, right? And so then I had to go back because now I'm like, okay, so it said the University of Vermont for this particular one. Is that the only one? So then I start researching every state and come to find out they have an agreement with Virginia. So although they aren't technically an ARC, you know, a, a, a U university research, right? They're doing work with four schools in Virginia, University of Virginia being one of them. Right. So, yes, Virginia Tech is on the list. Big teal. It was Virginia Tech, University of Virginia. Oh, I don't want to. It's on it's on that list. And I, I'm you can share that list because I'm I'm done. Like I've I've done I've done all the polling that I can do. And I think what I what I would encourage people to do is you know if you work at a university or you support a university or an alumni from a university you know anything like look and see is your school somewhere on this list and attached to one of these programs right um um they yes might miter does a whole lot um and so it's just i think it was george mason you know let me look just so i don't drive myself because this is this is what it always ends up happening. Because um, I was just surprised because if you just go, it's George Mason, Old Dominion, University of Virginia, and Virginia Tech. 
those were the four Virginia schools that are working with the MITRE Corporation. Um, and it's, it really, I, it, it was, it was staggering to me because people don't get it, right? They have no idea that the reason schools cannot divest from war is because they are making money from war, just like the corporations are, right? Just like those big five are. This is why Ricky, you just missed the whole, she done popped on, missed the whole thing after she, the reason I got sent down that rabbit hole. So, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot. And I really want people to take the time to start following the money and understanding that this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> So that's the thumbnail, like, like like the headline. The headline of my review of Burton's book is read it. And the headline of yours is that's why we don't have nice things. That's why we don't have nice things. And we're too busy paying for war. Mm -hmm. to, to be fair, I mean, we, we, I mean, all seriousness, to be fair, it makes perfect sense. I mean, universities have always had an intimate relationship with intelligence, defense, corporate interests. And why wouldn't they? Right. Um, it makes sense. You would want to have a society where you where where that has institutions dedicated to the organized research of everything as much as possible, and that would satisfy the needs of these entities, uh, or at least prepare people to go on to do the interests of these entities. It makes perfect sense. It does. Um, I remember we were at a. Um, who was I with that day in the in the in the in, at the University of Maryland uh, when I was in grad school? We were at the in the uh, the eatery wherever you know the where the little restaurants are, and somebody in like a mascot uniform. I don't even remember what was the mask. It was like some that you would see like at a baseball game or something. Came over and said, "Hey, I'm." I don't know. I don't even remember what it was. It was like, I'm spooky. You know, I, you know, do you want to come in and, uh, uh, you know, to information day about the CIA, you know, and I was, and I remember what I remember. I do remember saying kind of smiling and be like, I, you're at the wrong table, my man. Like I was like, you've come to the wrong, but they were, yeah, but it was like some little, but then I remember looking it up, and this is, I don't know to what extent it's still the case. This is 20 years already. But the, but at the time, in the early 2000s, the University of Maryland was like the or a major CIA recruitment spot. Uh, so, yeah, But I just didn't realize that at least part of it was them just rolling up on you at, a, at the calf like, hey, <laughs> want to join the CIA? <laughs> it's like, man, you're at the wrong table, dude. Uh, so I just I put in the chat real quick. So oh, this was is, yep. so this was part of something like a, an, an aside for what I discovered as I was down in this rabbit hole. And I don't know how many people are familiar with that that chart but it is i mean lord <laughs> and essentially just just a, just a, a consolidation in the defense industry and showing from 1980 to 2015 all of the companies that got consumed or subsumed within the five big ones general dynamics raytheon that produced lloyd Auth lloyd austin who the current secretary of defense northrop grunman Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Yep. Um, and and to to the point again, I remember this is some years ago, but I've uh, one of my keynote experience stories is being asked when I was still in communications at Morgan, did I want to participate in a in a uh, in an effort to take money from Lockheed Martin? No, no, these are two separate things. No, I'm sorry, two separate things. One was. To, to take money from the Department of... No, to take money from AFRICOM mm. to help them message AFRICOM, whose first leader, uh, Kip Ward, was a Morgan grad. And I remember I sent an email back to the to the group and I said, you know, should we, shouldn't we even discuss should like whether we should do this because it was it was like it, it was accepted that we were going to do it. So it was a, it was a request for who was going to participate. 
And my and that was and my response was, should we even just dis- have? Can, should we maybe have a discussion about should we do this? Right. And and I, I never got another email. The other one is that Lockheed Martin is, uh, or at least in used deep to always, with Mor- in deep with Morgan State. I have I Morgan. grew up with a dude who went to Morgan State and ended up at Lockheed Martin because they're so close. <laughs> <laughs> in proximity. <laughs> used to see signs regularly. Come to mm-hmm. the Lockheed Martin sponsored this. Lockheed Martin sponsored that, and it's mm-hmm. and this again was all in the comms bill. So it was it was a lot of it from my perspective had to do with how do we shape the messaging uh, around defense, defense spending. Uh, right. Although I can't and it's be for so, sure what they were and doing. it's interesting because when I. You know, when when Ricky first sent me the thing, I was looking for those five. Right. What I came across was a historical program, like a listing of how all of those those five were quietly replaced one by one with these smaller laboratories. Right. And I think it was because the government was feeling the heat, right? Like, why is all this money going to to these particular? Not that the money stopped going, because that thread, that Twitter thread, includes the most recent contracts to every one of those five. And then one contract that's less than I think the smallest one was like six hundred and something million dollars, right? So. In the billions are these contracts that are going out. So Raytheon, 1.2 billion, billion, another Raytheon, 621,000. I went through because I was just like this. You're on mute. You're on mute. (laughs) It's good I'm on mute because I was I was all wrong. That's why I was looking (laughs) to interrupt you because I thought I I was on it because I misread these are Raytheon contracts for work, or this one is a Raytheon contract for work in Ukraine. Well, it's for work to support the effort in, in Ukraine. Ukraine. Right. right. So this everything's being built here and then being sent there. Kill vehicles, Northrop Gun- Grumman. Oh, I apologize, y'all. I was incorrect. $542 million is, is actually smaller. <laughs> I mean, get it right. Northrop right. Grumman. I know. Right. I know. The nerve. Lockheed Martin, another six hundred million dollars. I did I, these General are the little Dynamics, moments where I'm proud of myself. Million. Why? Because I because I was like, as soon as Biden announced the end to Afghanistan, I was like, how long before the next one? Right. They gotta be another one. You can't cut that money off. You can't. And this is why, I mean, literally, like, this is Harpoon why. Coastal defense. Oh, man. It's, uh... This is why. So this is why you can't, this is why we, the, this this trying to fight this country on stopping war, right? That battle is... I don't, I mean, it's like, how do you, how do you even begin to get that to be a conversation? Because killing other people is just too profitable, right? The empire, it makes too much money off a war. I mean, billions and billions of dollars going to build war (laughs) <laughs> like to build things to use in war and to build things to use for war. Right. And now I don't even know if you heard, like we're going back to this, everything that's happening now, what happened with Hamas, they're using Hamas now as an excuse to kind of funnel back into really watching what everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> 